Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to start talking to you guys about how to filter the buttons in the show buttons uh, method and how to actually start narrowing down a graph so that it looks kind of like what you want to see. Now, when we ran this last time, it goes through everything and it produces a network graph that has all of these buttons on the side. This does not look nice and it has a lot of options that your users may not even need. So in this video, I'm going to show you simply how to filter all these out very, very easily in Pyvis. So let's set this to the side for a second. So the way in which we're going to do this is we're going to go down to our g.show buttons argument or a function. And all we're going to do is pass in a single argument filter. And this is important underscore filter underscore equals. And this is another thing that you have to remember because I make this mistake a lot of times working with Pyvis is that this is going to be a list. And it's going to be a list of strings. And what these strings are going to be are the uh, the things that you want to filter out. And these strings are going to be the different options that you have in this network graph. So if we go through, we see that nodes is an option. Edges is an option. Layout, interaction, manipulation, physics, and global. What we're going to do uh, in this video is just show you how to limit this down to just physics for right now. And then we're going to go through and explain each of these options. And the reason why we're starting with physics is because physics is probably the most important one to actually allow users to have access to. So I'm going to pass in just a single item in this list, physics. So when I do that, we get a new network graph. Let me bring it over here once again. And you can see already that all I have now is just physics. But what's really cool about this argument is that, or this function, is that the argument that we're passing is a list. So that means that we can pass in multiple items. So let's say I want to just have uh, an interaction uh, with two different options, physics and edges. I can do that by just passing in those two different uh, uh, those two different objects as strings in that list. And now you can see I have edges up here and physics down here. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. I don't know of a way to do this, but these are going to have a default layout. It doesn't matter what order you put them in down here, you're gonna see them occur in the way in which PyViz defaultly sets them up as hierarchical. So edges will always be before physics. If somebody knows a way to switch this up and make these go a different way without changing the HTML and CSS and JavaScript, please do let me know. I'd like to know that answer. Uh, but as for right now, I don't think there is a way to reorder this list here. But this is simply all you have to do to filter out those buttons and actually get different information for or get different uh, options for users to actually interact with the data in real time. And once you have that, like I showed you in the last video, users can actually change things like the algorithm being used. They can change the gravity of the graph. They can do a lot of different things. In the next video, we're going to start exploring specifically the physics um, uh, option menu because as you can tell there's a lot of different things that you can do with the physics option and it's probably the most powerful feature of PyViz allowing users to interact with data in real time. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.